Good morning. It's Friday and we are live from Ruth Stitchery and um, we promised a meet the staff and obviously <laughs> there's no staff with me right now, um, but it's because we previously recorded our meet the staff video. So we actually recorded that video yesterday and we're going to upload it right after this live video. So you're actually going to get two videos actually three videos um, because we did have a little um, mishap in the middle of our video yesterday. So um, our meet the staff video is actually going to be in two videos and we will try to mark them part one, part two, so that you watch them in order. Um, but we will upload those right after this video is done and I'll get them up on YouTube and Instagram as well. So um, what we thought we would talk about really quickly this morning is it's that time of year we are getting all of our Christmas fabrics in. And so I thought I would highlight a little bit of what has come in. It won't be everything that's come in. I think at this point we've gotten maybe five or six or seven Christmas lines in. Um, we've probably got a few more. Don't listen, Anne. We probably have a few more coming. Um, and if you've been in the store recently, you know that we have started getting all of our Halloween and our fall fabrics in as well. So all of the fall and Halloween fabric is up front in the front of the store. Um, and currently all of the new Christmas fabric is back here um, toward the back of the store where I'm standing. And I wanted to kind of highlight some of the things that have come in. So. We've gotten a few lines from Moda in, um, one of them from Lello Boutique, which is Christmas Eve, which is here on around this um, round table. We've got the pre-cuts and um, we also got this kit in. Um, I believe Lisa is making the sample for this kit, um, but how cute is that? It's got the Santa in the middle. It's got presents around um pieced holly in the centers i just love it um and so uh lisa's making this sample and this entire line has come in from lello boutique these are a couple of our um previous years kits that we have we still have a couple of more so we um, have them displayed as well uh, another line that's come in is called good news great joy from um fancy that design house so i'll just hold this one up to show you this is good news great joy really pretty has a little bit of a retro feel but um not as retro as something like this but um, good news great joy has come in we've got lots of pre-cuts of that we always um we always we still have panels if you're looking for stocking panels we've still got our panels that you can easily make up a stocking i think these are from Benertex. Um, so these might be a nancy halverson uh, panel that we've got um, that are always really pretty um, then um, back here on the back wall or maybe it's on a chair it's on a chair hasn't made it um, it's on a shelf hasn't quite made it to its um, shelf yet. We've gotten this line in from Studio E called Vintage Whisper from Santa. So this is the panel that goes with that. So cute. So it's got lots of coordinating fabric with it as well. Um, Vintage Whisper from Santa from Studio E. So this line has come in. And then behind me, we've got um, Mary Manor Metallic. I'll just pull one of these out. So we like to get um, at least uh, a couple very traditional Christmas lines in. So this has just little tiny touches of metallic throughout this line. So Mary Manor Metallic. Um, and this, I believe, is just from uh the moda design team so that is right here 
Okay, this has been in for a little bit. It's more winter than Christmas. It's called Nordic Cabin from Benertech. So that is also here. Um, but we've kind of created this whole Christmas section back here with the new and the old. Um, and then I wanted to mention that every year we try to find um, one really good Hanukkah uh, line. Um, a lot of them come out um, and they're very, um, they lean more uh, child for children. Um, and so I kind of try to look for something that can kind of go both ways. Um, and this, I think, is one of the best ones that I have seen. I'm trying to remember um, who this one came from. Let's see. This one came from Riley Blake. It's called Hanukkah Nights. And so there is a really nice panel with this line. And then I just grabbed one of the fabrics that has, um, it has the star, it has the menorah, lots of little, um, little gifts, the dreidel. So um, I thought this was a great line. You could certainly make um, a child's quilt out of it um, or a um, pillowcase or something, but it doesn't scream. What was that set? Oh, placemats, of course. Um, it just didn't, I think someone was in yesterday or the day before and they were making a really long table runner using the panel um, and making a long table runner for their family gathering that they were going to have. So I thought that was great. Um, but I like, like this line because it doesn't scream kid, but it certainly could be, um, but it also could be um, an adult quilt as well. So that is Hanukkah Nights. Okay. Oh, along with the um, Christmas Eve from Lello Batik, um, we got this uh, Tis the Season. This is one of those really large quilt panels that you actually don't even really need to do anything to it. You could put a border on it if you wanted, but really it's 58 by 73, so nice throw size. You really could just quilt this panel, put a binding on it, and there you have a great gift. Um, great something to hang on the wall if you hang quilts on your wall. Um, but really simple, really nice um, gift that you could make or keep it for yourself. If, you, if you're like me and love Christmas, maybe this will end up in my house this year. Um, okay, so that was just a little highlight of some of the things that have come in for Christmas. Like I said, we'll probably throughout the next month or so, we're going to be getting more Christmas and eventually we will um, move Christmas up to the front of the store. But for now, we're going to keep all of the fall and Halloween up front. Christmas is toward the back of the store. So the last couple of things I wanted to talk about, um, if you have looked at our website or you have um, looked at our emails recently, we've been highlighting some classes that are coming up. And one of them that is coming up that Michelle is teaching is for a reusable tote. You know, a lot of the stores in Colorado now um, you've got to carry your own bags. And so um, I believe after playing with several different patterns that she saw, she sort of made it her own, um, changed up some things that she thought was a little bit easier or made it a better bag. And so she's kind of created her own pattern. And that is what she's going to teach you in the class. So this class is when it's a Wednesday, May 31st, um, from 10 to 4, you will sew in class. You will um, hopefully walk out of that classroom with a bag made. Um, doesn't take a ton of fabric, but basically it um, unfolds to um, a really good size. It's probably hard to tell on here, but you can really fit a lot in this bag. And then when you're not using it, it does fold up. It has a little strap that you can snap together. It can be thrown into your purse or your bag, or whatever you're carrying. And then you always have one with you. And since you got to pay for bags now, if you want, once you've made one, you can make several that would also make fantastic gifts for people. So this is the reusable tote bag um, with Michelle on May 31st. Um, 
I do know that this is on our website. You can enroll there. I believe it's $30 um, plus supplies, of course. Um, but that is the reusable tote. Um, and then I just had to show you, um, Michelle brought this in today. Uh, this is actually a kit that we've had for a little while called Prairie Days by Bunny Hill. And it's so cute. But until you see the sample, it's really hard to see all the detail that's in this, just looking at this picture. So Michelle volunteered to do it, and she finished it. And, oh my gosh, wait till you guys see this. Look at this quilt. I just love it. I don't know if you guys can kind of zoom in a little bit on that. You can see that there's um, some hand embroidery that she's done. Um, I believe you probably could do some of that on your machine if you did not do hand embroidery, but um, this, uh, the applique is stitched on the machine. Um, and then she's done some hand embroidery. It's so, so cute. But I wanted you guys to see it now that she's got it done. Fantastic backing. Look what she put on the back. That's wonderful. All right. Good job, Michelle. Can't wait for this to hang. You'll have to come see it in person. Okay. That's it for our video this morning. Hopefully you guys are thinking about some of those Christmas gifts, Hanukkah gifts, winter gifts, Halloween, fall, all of those things. Um, come in and see us. And like I said, we will upload our meet the staff with peggy and cindy right after we finish this video thanks so much hope to see you soon